Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 6, where we last left off. Hello, everybody. Stuff happened. I don't I don't Thumb know what stuff. happened, but there was stuff. Thumb stuff. So let's see what else is going to happen. Let's see what the next stuff is. Aha. Uh, Ooh. Oh, I thought I picked up an herb. I did not. I hope there's an... I don't know why this game is so stingy with, like, with its healing items. It's very, very stingy with them. I have no Tic Tacs. What about you? I have, uh, I have one green herb, but I kind of want to hang on to it until we can find another. <clears throat> well, yeah, I but, meant, like, Tic Tacs. I have, I have one green herb also. We picked up the same one. Gotcha. I currently have no Tic Tacs. Whoops, my mic was in the wrong place. Well, we shouldn't take much damage in here, right? No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> they got me worried about my mic. Do I sound okay? Yeah. You sound beautiful, baby. Mitchell, can you hear me? I can. This is definitely not a boss right arena. Now? Of course. Oh, look who's back. How did he get here? How did we get here? Some questions there are no good answers to. <laughs> what do you want to bet we have to kill him with lava? None of this cold man's bullshit. Come get some, you ugly son of a bitch! Oh god. Jake! We can't find it right here! It's too dangerous! Oh god. Alright. Oh god. This way! Oh god. Oh god. Uh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! I'm coming. I'm way back somewhere. Oh god, he's right behind you. What is this, like a giant box of bananas? Uh... Well, that didn't do anything. Fair. That's fair, Keep Sherry. I found boxes to break. Me too. Ooh, oh, of course I green... can't pick up the green herb. Yeah, exactly. Well, <clears throat> while I was trying to, I got my ass kicked. I'm down. Oh god. Uh... I blew oh. myself up. Yes. <laughs> he was too close when I shot him with my explodey gun. Sherry! <laughs> oh crap! Just keeps on up in his game. Oh god, oh god. Alright, what can I get rid of quickly? <sighs> Nothing. Neat. Your life. Yeah, pretty much. Oh god. Yeah. Girl, you need to holler at these Tic Tacs. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a shame that we're so, like, trained to, like, be excited about health items that then when we come across, like, one, we'll, like, practically lose trying to get it. Yeah. Uh... So are we just supposed to be shooting him? I'm not sure. Let's find something environmental. That seems like the right call. Although, I'm, lo I'm looking around. I don't see much. Yeah. I found some more boxes.
I'm just gonna unload these freaking ex grenade rounds on him. Ah, okay, that did something. No, oh, good. That's fair. He does not appear to care. Ow! Lava! I'm gonna stun baton him. Get him! Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Oh, you're in a you're in for a world of hurt now, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Can we leave? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep shooting him. Ah, oh, I missed. Jerry, now! Jake, go for it! Now! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, get off! Shall we? Are my handguns in the lava? Mine went somewhere. Are you serious? Yep, mine's in the lava. This that kick right. looked so dainty. It did. Settle this mano a mano. Are you? Hey. Right. Oh. Is that all you got? Uh, I'm trying to run to you. I've got my stun baton, don't worry. <laughs> I'll cover you. I don't know. It's, it's telling me to keep punching and kicking him, so that's what I'm doing. Oh god. Uh, he's got my face. Now. Okay, you've got a... You've got a... I don't know what you're gonna do. Hold on. That might have hurt a little. Why can't I see myself anymore? All right, keep him right there. Keep him right there. Okay. If me punching him is so effective, why did we just not leave with this? Alright, ho right, hold on. Uh, it's doing some kind of cutscene. Take that! You like that? Die already! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That's pretty much exactly what happened to your dad, just for the record. Also the yeah. T-1000, just for the record. <laughs> Don't say it, that means we didn't do it. Well, I still have no guns, so... Don't worry, I got my stun baton. <laughs> We're ready. I'll just stay behind you. <laughs> yeah. Like, did it really have to take all of my guns? Hold up. Did you see what our objective was? Escape from the underwater facility. How do we even know we're underwater? We're in some kind of warehouse. There's gotta be a way to move shit in and out. Right. We're in some kind of warehouse. We gotta be underwater. <laughs> Get that baton in there. Let's wedge this thing open. There's always a tram.
Good lord. It's one of Elon Musk's prototypes. <laughs> yeah, there's no goddamn steering. Called it. This is also somehow one of the lava tubes. Yeah. Christ almighty! What does it take to lose this guy? Come on! We have to move further up! Jesus, take the hit! Jake! Keep going! I'm going. Like, what weird Jake, encouragement. Keep going. I didn't think of that. Oh, he's all Anakin Skywalker. He doesn't have any legs or anything. Surprised they're not making us left trigger, right trigger. Me too. My question though is how did he get his other arm back? button. I can't even see what's going on. It's shaking so much. Yeah, it's almost double imaging, not shaking, just double imaging. Yeah. <laughs> just a crate full of guns. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Jake, look! A gun! This shit ends now. I actually really liked that part, up until he said that. <laughs> Thank you. Smooch. Aw, yeah. Even though Jake is like a really unlikable, kind of like, ass clown. <laughs> yeah. I'm still happy, you know? Oh yeah. This is a sweet jam. I'm dancing. I am too. Okay, so I know that we talked about taking a break, playing something else. Right. And then coming back to one of the other campaigns for this. Which campaign for this do you want to do next? <clears throat> I don't know that I have a preference, really. Because we've got, um, like the Leon campaign, which is supposed to be more survival horror. Right. And then we've got the Chris campaign, which is supposed to be more action. I'm sorry, I'm just completely lost in this song. <laughs> is this how it feels? <laughs> okay. Something about it reminds me of the song that plays at the end of Over the Top, starring yeah. Sylvester Stallone. Yep. And it's it's very much like 
the the end credits of all of those like old eighties movies, you know? Yeah. With like like I expected to have like still frames of people giving like thumbs up. <clears throat> like John Candy and all the John Hughes movies. Right. <laughs> yep. Uh, moment of silence for John Candy. So Gone but not forgotten. Gone but not forgotten. He lives on in our hearts. True. I don't know. Put this uh, game down a little bit. But I mean, you really want to deprive people of this song? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm gonna cut it down too. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut it down a lot, a lot. So, I thought this was really well made. Yep. It was so over the top. It seemed it, more rushed and unpolished towards the end. Right. Like, maybe this was the last campaign they worked on, and they were like, shit, we're, guys, this has got to ship in, like, four months, and we still got to press the discs, you know? And they were like, oh, uh, well, we okay. We haven't the way the goopy men were. <laughs> There's no what? time. What goopy men? <laughs> you know the ones that throw their own hands? What? Yeah, Jake Muller is Troy Baker. Yeah. Maybe let's do the Leon one next because I'm I okay feel with like that. this one's kind of actiony. <clears throat> yeah, but so and then it, so it'll um, give us like an action break. Yeah. Also, we did just do a, a pretty big playthrough of Resident Evil Five with Chris Redfield, so yep. we can give we can give people a break from that one too. Although I'm also about to do a playthrough of Resident Evil Two with Leon. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Can we, can we skip this? <laughs> you saved the world. So won't you let me save you? <laughs> God, that falsetto. <laughs> oh. Like, okay, I'm not saying this is a bad song per se, but it really just is like out of nowhere for this game. Oh, girl, this is your new ringtone on my phone. <laughs> I, I'm not even mad. Although, you gotta be careful, because when it's a ringtone that good, it's hard to answer the phone. That's true. I'm trying to think of where in the song I should start, you know, because you can't start at the beginning of the track. You gotta find, like, a, a poignant moment in the song and, you know, go in and edit it so that the ringtone actually starts there. I'm thinking, you saved the world, now won't you let me save you? If right not there. that, then it needs to be the I believe I could walk through fire. Yeah. Mm. So, Resident Evil 6. The Jake and Sherry campaign. I had fun with it. I think it started pretty strong. And then, like you were saying, just the longer it went, the more it was like, what the actual fuck is going on? I think it got kind of weird like when we were uh, separated um, in that like medical facility mechanically now thematically it was interesting how like you were in one place as I went and I was in another you know what I mean yeah but it was something you could um, tell they hadn't had a whole lot of experience doing well it was really difficult to like figure out how I was intended to get past those guys I ended up just running around right um, then it kind of leveled back off again um, when we were like fighting all of the guys in that like hotel or whatever yeah where it culminated with a tank and the motorcycle right and then that we're was back cool. out like the streets of streets of china that was cool yeah i enjoyed um, that but once we got once we got to this facility at the end the underwater facility which by the way notice that was never revealed as being underwater no it doesn't it, like that that makes no sense i'm sure Ooh, it that is base run. Do, 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 beat by music mix and engineer <laughs> but it's like but um, I, i'm sure I the game wasn't like lying to us ones. yeah no they were awful like the right. regenerators in resident evil 4 were genuinely scary and interesting and like the sounds they made kind of were repulsive these You're were right. just kind of like weird goopy men just wandering around just becoming a nuisance 
Yeah, they were they were only a nuisance. They weren't especially they weren't a especially threat. the way they were introduced. Like, you know what I mean? You're in that room, I crawl through the vent, and then there's just suddenly he's in the vent, and we fall down, and I'm trying to figure out how to get you out of the room while Jake like yells that, you know, Hey, break this door down every six seconds, and that like weird goopy monster is just like stumbling around to like you said, sort of like inappropriately melodramatic music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. And then <clears throat> that whole, like, standoff with Chris was super dumb, but whatever. <laughs> and then we had to run off because reasons. Yeah. They're going to sacrifice their lives because I just reasons. Yanked out a, I just yanked out a mush dish hair. Sometimes, I don't know if you can see this. Sometimes oh. when they get... um slightly longer they'll start to curl up the ones at the very top of my lip oh yeah like, go right up your nose the bottom of my nose and i hate mm -hmm. it so i yank those out yeah they're awful and my beard's not even that long like it's pretty short right now yeah There's something about these these right here will curl up so is there an after credits thing or I'm waiting around for it. I always want to include the credits when I can anyways, because people worked hard on this. You know what I mean? They God, did. I tell you what, I'm cutting this music down even more. I know. I've got mine down a it's, lot. It's not the dope jam anymore. You know what I mean? Right. I don't know. This game is not nearly as bad as people say it is. God, okay, so when I turn the volume down in the recording, it doesn't turn it down in my ears, and this is, like, blowing my eardrums out. All right. Dun, yeah, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I feel like we're playing Halo again. God. <laughs> so what do you want to play next, Mitch? We'll talk about that. Like, apart from? Like, like, apart from Resident Evil 6, what do you want to play next? Because we've, we've been talking about doing, like, the Halo series, the Gears series... And, um, I feel like there was another series. But we've done Halo 1. We've played Halo 1. Right. We haven't done, oh, um, I think, I think, I think what I'm talking about wasn't a series. I think we were talking about doing Army of Two, which we couldn't do. Right. Because the servers are no longer supported. Which is super uh -huh. weird. I don't know if we talked about that, but what, like, what console game runs like online co-op directly through the servers of the company instead of there being like a host client situation. right i mean the game's pretty old maybe they used to do it differently back then but i don't think so I'm having God, to try. This is so loud. I know this it's so loud. so loud. I'm, I'm having to try really to try hard to... not to yell. I can't even hear you. I can't even hear you. <laughs> I know you're gonna sound, you're gonna be more audible in the recording, but this game is like blasting my ears out right now. Yeah, mine too. Thank it's you almost for playing. Over. Hey, you know what? You know what? You're welcome. You're welcome, Capcom. Oh my god. Oh my god. I do uh, like that Sherry is in this game. I think Sherry's um, a cutie pie. I really liked Sherry in Resident Evil 2. Mm -hmm. So, it was good to see a familiar face from True. my favorite Resident Evil game. All right, I'm thinking this is just going to be kind of a back to the main menu situation. Let's see. Oh, nope. Oh, After no. credits, we were rewarded for our patience and slight loss of hearing. Yep. results retrieved from Neo Umbrella's archives. With the data now in the right hands, things seem to be finally settling down. Following Jake's rescue, BSAA officials classified his relationship to Albert Wesker as top secret, recognizing the threat it could pose to global security. Also, he's my boyfriend.
How sweet. He just happens to be standing down there and in the same clothes. Right. And on a motorcycle. I was just about to say, you know that scarf Sherry's wearing has to smell fucking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> the textures on these models are so low res, they could have put him in a different shirt just for this scene. Like, oh yeah, right. he changed clothes. Make the jeans, I mean, that's obviously denim. Make them blue, make the shirt white, boom. It's just like a palette swap. We could have just palette swapped the same model. Maybe it's more difficult with, like, polygonal models. I have no idea. Do you think that the whole, like, um... Eight like skill skills now, now available to choose worthless, from. or does it carry over from character to character? You think? Ooh, I don't know. I think it was relatively worthless through the entirety of the game. If we're being honest, I would scrap the skill oh, yeah, system totally. and go back to just upgrading your weapons. Yeah, much more interesting. We both got A ranks. Hooray! I guess that's it. Well, I want to see over. if it like takes us back to the menu, and and I think I think that the way this works is once you do like um, the Jake Sherry campaign, then the um, Leon Kennedy campaign, then the uh, Chris Redfield campaign, then it opens up like an Ada campaign, right? Uh, I really don't know. There's a new now. game plus option now in the menus, and it's got a little like banner by Jake's campaign. Uh, it looks like Ada's campaign is already selectable. Hmm. And there's Leon, oh, Chris, that's right. I, that's, and Ada. I, th I think I read somewhere, now that I'm actually thinking about it, that in like the original version of this game, not the... What is this? Not Game of the Year edition. This is like a remaster. Remaster. Yeah, I'm trying to see it on the floor. Um, yeah, I'm looking for mine too. <laughs> I, think, I think they unlocked that for this version, but I think originally you had to beat the three core campaigns before Ada's became playable. Yeah. So, okay. So if you go into skill settings under campaign, it looks like our skills are still unlocked. Well, that's so, cool, because otherwise it's like I bought like a thing or two things. Right. So I'm going to buy melee level two. Where do we do that? Play game? Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Uh, yes. I don't know how far back we have to go. Good campaign. Lord. Melee level 3 is 75,000. Yeah, so play game, campaign, skill settings. I guess I'll get firearm level oh, yeah, 1. I've only, I've only got 1,000 skill points. Oh, I had 30,000. Oh, I saved a bunch of mine, though, because I wanted to upgrade melee to level 2. Well, I've got a uh, firearm level two. What do you have now? Melee level two and item drop increase. That's all I have. What is? What do you have as a remainder in skill ah, point? Nine thousand nine hundred. I've got one thousand four hundred fifty. Remember? Right. Well, you right. Remember the the last remember. area that I like somersaulted over to? I said there was nothing in there except some skill points. No. That is probably it. That's probably it. Well, let's call it here, and then we'll be back do with one something. Of the other campaign soon. Yeah. Um, of this particular game, <clears throat> and uh, link will be on the the end splash screen, or down in the credits, or not the credits, down in the uh, description, or we'll put it somewhere. You know, we'll playlist, point you in the right the direction. The playlist section of our channels. Ooh, on Twitter. On the tweeters. On yeah, me too. On the tweeters. So go so, look for that. If you want to see more RE6, one of the other campaigns, it's coming. It is. Because I'm 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 excited to play through the rest of the game now. I want to judge it as a whole, not just as one campaign. Because this campaign was like a solid 6, six out of 10, you know? Like, it was more fun than not fun. And I think it was more well-made than, you know, poorly made. So I'm interested to see how the others live up. Same. So, as always... Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'm sure Caleb does too. And join us next time for more Resident Evil and other fun co-op buddy stuff.
Mm -hmm. We'll see you then. Bye.